Hey everyone, it's Jen and we are finally back on my channel after about one or thirty decades, who knows how long. Um, there's only two videos on my channel right now, they were both Sims 3 related and obviously we are in The Sims 4, like what? Um, I have been having The Sims 4 since the day it came out, like 12, I had it pre-ordered and everything. But because of current life situations, I haven't had time to basically breathe, let alone do anything YouTube related with The Sims 4. I have played here and there uh, when I get the time, but this is like the first day I've had half free, not entirely free, but half of it free. And I was like, hey, why not get into this now? It's easier to continue things then start them so i'm starting today um we're gonna do a let's play um and a cheat to get my main character where i want him to live and all that junk but from that point on we are not gonna use cheats traditional lp stuff and yeah let's get to it um this, every LP I make is going to be 20 minutes long. This one's going to be 30 because of the whole introduction thing I'm doing now. That's going to take at least 50 hours or so. That's, yeah. Uh, so our main character is Nathaniel Vanderbilt. Uh, I moved him into Oak instead. Uh, all of you probably know the house. Uh, Deligracy, it was like the first speed build she did. I, I just kind of really fell in love with the house, so... I had it for one of my current households, which I moved out to a different house now, and it's been empty. And I was like, might as well do an LP with it. I do have plans in the future for him. Um, I will give you guys a sneak peek of who he's going to be interested in and everything. Um, this, These are the Elliot sisters. Uh, that's all I'll tell you. There's going to be a lot of things involved with them. Uh, and just a little sneak peek at my current household. And yeah, that's eight people, but it's okay. Two different families, two different families. Uh, so anyways, let's get started. Hopefully, um, this has been lagging a bit for me. I might have to do with the computer. I am getting a new one towards January or February, but um, especially when I use fraps and this together, it's kind of slower. Like uh, these in between, I forgot the name, but you know, these in between parts are supposed to be really fast, uh, but um, when it comes to like fraps and sometimes just random times it'll be really slow for me like it'll take a whole minute or two just for the thing to actually get to where I want to go like it is right now it's taking like five years and it takes five seconds on any normal day but what are we gonna do usually when it starts lagging like that is when it's gonna work but I never keep my hopes up just in case this is the point where I usually get my phone and I just start you know doing what everyone does on their phone because this takes so long when it comes to this I have no idea how long we're gonna be here actually oh my goodness this is taking beyond like I don't even know I can't even like you hear the music before you even actually get to the game so that's when I'm like, okay, it's finally done when you hear the music. But it's like, let me just take five years. Like, yeah, there we go. See? There's the music. So, usually everyone, like, shows around their LP homes because, well, people might want to see it and stuff, obviously, where they're going to be watching this LP happen. Uh, but I'm going to link Deligracy's speed build down below because this is hers and I am crediting it to her. All I did to it was um, upstairs. Anything that's here now has to like that I've edited had to do with my uh, current household from that I moved somewhere else. So basically all I redid was like this room here upstairs because it was two kids rooms and this was a. Uh, Right here, this was a longer hallway. This was a boys' room. This was a girls' room. But I changed it up a bit. Uh, I still do have plans for who's going to be there now. Um, but for now, that room's going to be empty. And it's just going to be little Nate over here in this room that has a bathroom. And quite weird. Never seen one of these before. It's pretty cool, though. Not 
it's more cool than weird uh the walk-in closet is actually like literal 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 yeah literal you walk in (laughs) to get to the room so you have to go through the closet first i mean for a guy i don't really know if he would care but for a girl i mean that would be heaven to me to see my clothes every day before i even went to my room so i guess we'll get started um it looks like he's hungry and that's about it uh to tell you more about nate where well i'm gonna call him nate his name's nathaniel actually he uh wants to be a friend of the world everyone remembers a beloved sim their relationships never fade this sim wants to make and keep as many friends as they can so uh we'll work with that he has no career and his uh traits are the bro trait the romantic trait the snob trait and the gregarious trait which came with of course friend of the world um basically yeah that's it i i always like have one thing that i like my sims like i I don't know why i've acquired this thing like i just have to have my sims do this in the sims 4 everyone in my sims has to be like unique in some way and like something like either music drawing something uh and i haven't quite figured out what we're gonna have him do yet but i might have i don't i don't want to be like stereotypical and have him be a gym rat that'd be his thing i don't know i want it to be unique but i haven't thought of anything yet so i guess that will come along the way but for now let's oh wait was he already gonna eat something yeah he was okay so for now we'll just go along with it let him do whatever i thought there was like music on oh there is where's that coming from is someone playing the piano oh there's a speaker right there i was like what in the world is going on is the fruit bowl singing right now because there is no one else here the radio's over there and i completely forgot (laughs) that um in my current household um they had like a house party and i thought that the speaker would connect to the radio and it didn't so i had a speaker here a speaker there a speaker over here and i turned on the radio and it didn't play so i turned them all on and there was music everywhere it was kind of crazy i'm turning it off in case you guys can't hear me with that music on i don't know how i i tested this before it wasn't too loud that it blocked out my voice but i didn't check the music i just checked like these sounds and stuff Okay, so he's not hungry anymore. I guess he cleaned that up for himself. He His social's going down faster than anything else, and so is his fun. Um, maybe we can go meet someone, but it's 7.45 a.m., so we'll get his fun up first. Um, I guess we can watch sports. Being a little stereotypical, but it's okay. It's okay. Uh, and then we'll hit the town and see who's there i actually yeah we'll hit like a park or uh the rattlesnake juice bar because we want to get his social up oh when i put sports i wasn't thinking ice skating that's that's manly though that's very very manly uh not judging uh we should use the bathroom before he goes anywhere because it looks like it's going down pretty quickly pee like a champion that must mean he's very confident right now um sports rule watch oh other bros being awesome on the sports channel oh that's from the bro trait um the decorated adds to that and so does the pretty tasty food um that's great let's get a good view of him peeing all right or not i thought he just ate well we're going to a juice bar anyways so oh great the tree uh beautiful view of a tree as well best lp you'll ever see ever okay let's travel i usually just press the t but let's be i mean i don't think you use your phone to travel but you know i guess that's how the sims work press a button on your phone and you get somewhere else and here comes the very long loading screen again actually this one doesn't take us long because it's not like you're actually getting to a place you're just looking at the map I'm pretty sure that Rattlesnake Juice Bar is an Oasis Springs. 
There it is. We could always go to the solar flare too. But I'm going to stick to this one for right now. I like what I like about The Sims 4 is that uh, unlike The Sims 3 when you go, used to go to like the bars and stuff, if you were lucky, there'd be a, another person there other than like the person tending the bar. And a lot of times you weren't even lucky enough to actually see someone tending the bar. Like it, they'd be somewhere there, but they wouldn't even be tending the bar. So in The Sims 4, along with like the bar being tended if there's any instrument like a piano there or anything there's going to be someone playing it and there's going to be a bunch of sims there compared to the sims 3 not like a whole house full of sims but like around five to ten sims when you go out to like the rattlesnake juice bar or the solar flare anywhere like that to the park the park especially there's one thing that annoyed me like i used to bring my sims on dates and people can just come up rudely interrupt your conversation and join and make it like a huge group conversation so if both of the, the sims you have on a date aren't part of your actual household it's kind of hard to get back to your date and it kind of kills the mood and um like you're having good process like you know good progress on the date and then this person just rudely comes and like ruins everything and gets in your conversation and it's like okay rude but anyways it's all good with me they're just trying to be friendly be friendly jennifer well it's actually pretty dead right now oh look it's one of the elliot girls I've noticed that a lot of households travel together when you see one girl in one place, like one person from a household there. The others are going to be there, but surprisingly, it's only her. Uh, this is Joan Elliott. Well, friendly introduction. Um, I will tell you guys something. She's not the one we are trying to get at um, speaking in terms of trying to date her. Florib. Uh, who's this? I've seen uh, her run. So. Ariel Jimenez. See, this is gonna be like a group discussion because she was already talking to the bartender. Um, let's talk to her some more. We already had a friendly introduction. Okay, now it's just them two. Usually, if it's more than one person, there's gonna be the little scroll oh, things right here so you can see every single person. Veruta Kongaba! <laughs> All right, introduce. No, so oh, okay, we can introduce ourselves to so other people cool. too after we talk to her. <laughs> because <laughs> uh, that'll help his friend of the world aspiration. Who's this? Skyler McAllister. Uh, snob lesson, sorry, I didn't read it because uh, I've seen it already. <laughs> Bueno, bueno. Uh, she joined the conversation <laughs> right now. Um, every time someone new that you don't know joins, it's going to uh, tell you that you don't know them yet, uh, like you didn't already know. Oh, Joan left. I guess we'll have to talk to Ariel. Where is she going? <laughs> She's just like, yeah, it was right in front uh, of my seat, but I still couldn't reach it. <laughs> so talk. it's I'm just going to walk around the bar and get it for myself. Is there anyone else here? I doubt it. Oh. It is only one floor. Oh, I'm thinking of that other place. The solar flare, I think. There's two floors. Oh, oh she's flirty. <laughs> Chat with Ariel. Okay, let's be friendly. Because... Those crazy... Um, get to know. I've always wanted to give fake bad news. Because that would be hilarious. But then... I don't want to be mean either. So, show off muscles. He's, I don't think he's feeling extremely confident right now. Um, I do like how they get these feelings. It actually does help a lot when they, uh, like when you want something done. And like say it's something romantic done, it helps so much more when they're flirty. Like just the emotions actually really really Was help and sorry if you heard my phone Sincidi, can oh, oh. Uh, apparently she's thinking about basketball oh and uh if you want to know who's in the group chat you just hover over it oh bridget's in there too friendly introduction because that'll help did we introduce ourselves to her already? 
Yep. Uh huh. Gobblenoosh. He looks like a ghost. Yes. I <laughs> actually yes. haven't. Um, Kumu. Like, uh, uh, seen the ghosts or anything? Because uh, I updated this, the whole thing before this LP. So, yeah. Oh, there are more people now? No beam. Should introduce yourself to him, too. All right, I take back the whole part I about there being a bartender because ours totally just Ends rudely left like Ruthay, i was in the order Frodima. chips that is so rude can we steal someone's drink i oh, know she better get it and everyone just got up and left the convo too oh is he gonna be the bartender now <sighs> oh that's so cute it's like they switch shifts oh that's so adorable hey look um, it's Bob Pancakes. Why not introduce oh, yourself before you order the chips? Ah, <laughs> okay, ah, someone's full of himself. Yes, like, man, yes let me whip the hair I don't have. Uh, uh -huh. Flawless. Zip dudes. <laughs> you mamouche. Oh, All right. Uh, uh, also, it's like I like how realistic it is. Like, if your sim is eating and talking, they're gonna take a lot longer to eat than they would just like eating by itself, not talking to anyone. And you could actually do that while sitting next to another sim. They won't really start conversation instantly. Uh, you can put that on yourself. I usually don't have autonomy on, so works for me. Japan? But even with Klanas, autonomy off, it's like they still have a life in their own. See, he's very, he hasn't even eaten any of it. I don't want him to move. Oh, so I want him to eat his <laughs> Sorry if you hear Lord no noises. I probably just hit the microphone. Skills. What did he do? <laughs> Bro hugs someone. <laughs> Dance to stereo music. Uh, every time they're like talking or there's noise, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna try to move Zip away Samba. at least a little bit more. Just in case you can't hear me, because sometimes I feel like their noise is louder than my voice, which isn't gonna work out quite well, this being an LP. Uh, he's not even halfway Oops. through his chips. Come on, dude, Love Azubi. So far, all of his, um, what do you call Please. these? His needs. I'm so bad with words when it comes to actually talking. So, uh, when his needs are, like, fine right now, his hunger's going up, and he's actually pretty good. Uh, when they, when it comes to, like, them actually doing stuff and, like, working, those are gonna go down Harder. so much faster. <laughs> <laughs> what the <laughs> hell is that? <laughs> uh, this is okay. Walk. Pinerf Lazar. Hey. Summer holiday. Well, that is Meep not. Boy, so ish, ish. not. Frong the boobs. Ah. No pun intended in her name <laughs> at all. I mean, summer is a holiday to me. So. <laughs> boy, no hey! He just like got up and sat down, and got. It. So. Oh, and when like a sim is talking to another sim, if there's any seats around and they're standing, they will automatically like go and sit. I put it on my bucket list to like learn simlish if it's possible to like actually understand everything they're talking about. I'm gonna do it. Life of career. I don't want him to be that person. But I've always wanted to have a person who does that, but that's not him. Friendly to Clara McCracken. Slap him silly. It doesn't sound very nice either. Oh, um, let's just go back <laughs> so, to friendly. So. Ask about day. <laughs> Talk to Marcos <laughs> as well. Oh. A joke about your ass. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I was a sim to be honest. They have so much fun. Like they look like they have a blast doing anything. Literally, if your sim is happy in there. Throwing away the trash. 
they'll be so happy. Oh, look, it's his sister. Um, this is Nate's sister. I don't know if she's still considered his sister because, um, I actually brought it's he has a brother and a sister, and I brought all three into the world. But uh, when I was playing with him, he died in the other family, so I just brought him back by himself to start a new story. So I'm not sure if that connects again. Don't know how it works. I, I'm saying a no. Um, I don't think that's ever or will ever really happen in The Sims. Like, you know, it instantly connects. I think that would be annoying to some people. So I don't think um, that, like right now speaking, that's a sister. But I made ha that like as a sister. They still have the same last name and everything. Uh, we'll get up close so you can see. I actually like that when you play with genetics now, it actually like really looks like them. I felt like uh, in The Sims 3, oops, I went the wrong way, oh well. In The Sims 3, it wasn't really true to how they actually looked. I don't know if it was just me, but I didn't feel like it really did look like them. But I feel like here they do actually look like each other when you play with genetics. But that's his sister. Her name's Samantha Vanderbilt. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna get to know them again. Like just as friends maybe but um not i don't know if i'll pretend that they're still brothers and sisters and stuff we'll see we'll see Aksawa. all right so let's continue here. Uh, with boost. this Rinka one isn't Shalbo. as interesting as oh, first lp Jet so i'm very sorry but um we'll work on that oh i made her too uh that is zelda i believe she has also a brother and sister uh her sister's name is Genevieve and her brother's name is um, Zion. Genevieve is actually part of my current household. There are so many people. See, this is what I like. All the sims, there's like always so many sims everywhere and you can tell how they feel by the way they walk. Like, obviously everyone else is fine and he's just bummed out. Romantic lesson. Nathaniel is a romantic. Romantic sims tend to be flirty and need to infuse their lives with romance often. Okay, so we'll end here at the Rattlesnake Juice Bar and I'm um, gonna travel one more time before I end this. Oh, just kidding. What am I doing? I'm here thinking. Uh, we're gonna go actually to the Elliot house. I want to start this off. Um letting you guys get a feel of what I really want to do in this LP and I really do want her to be involved in everything um there's Genevieve see that's her sister that's in she's in my current household um but yeah I I want you guys to get a feel for the Elliots uh because they are going to be involved right from the beginning so let's go on and visit uh, hopefully this loading screen doesn't take too long because sometimes I will have stuff to talk about in the loading screens and the other times I'll just be here waiting like yep this better go fast because I have nothing to say to them uh so yeah and I say uh and um a lot so to avoid that I really do need to talk about something relevant and this loading screen does not help me at all like at all and it just stopped you can continue now Oh, Jesus, I'm gonna have to work this out because I am not gonna wait doing this every single episode until January, February comes because it's only November. We'll get there together, guys. Uh, in other words, I've been super busy because it's my senior year and I'm an I like really like to do a lot of things. I don't want to say overachiever. But I love doing other things besides school just so that my resume looks good. So I have like two jobs, four extracurriculars, I do community service, and my phone's ringing. That's great. Uh, sorry guys. My iPad's ringing. Very awesome. <laughs> that was my mom. That was very rude. Uh, she's probably outside. I guess then we will end it here and start with the Elliot's next episode. Thanks, guys. See you later.